All right, so now we're going to go through and we're going to get our pull list or pick list of all the material we're going to need to build this room here. I have our channel listed out over here with our lengths. Uh, our F channel is going to come in lengths of 12, 14, and 16 foot. Corner posts come 14 and 16. Our H channels come in lengths of 12, 14, 16, and 20. Our sills come in lengths of 12, 14, 16. Hanger base, 20 foot. Our header base, 20 foot. And our header tops are 20 foot. We we'll also have our expander, comes in lengths 12, 14, and 16. And our post sleeve cap comes at 14 foot. Starting with our base tracks, our, our base F channel, we have 12 foot for our A wall. We have six, just under 16 foot for our B wall and 12 foot B wall. So our F channel we'll need two 12 foot then I'll do our A and our C wall we'll need one 16 foot that'll do our B wall base we also have our F channel on the wall as a wall track I have 108 inches we'll have our wall track on the C wall 108 inches two 12 foot pieces one for the C wall, one for the A wall. Next would be our corner posts. We need 97 inches. We'll use two 16 foot corner posts. We'll cut a, a 97 out of our 16 footer. Uh, that'll leave us a scrap uh, leftover piece that, uh, that we can use in a standard seven foot tall wall. Then we'll go on to our eight channels. So we have our main upright H's. We have one in the A wall, one in the B wall, one in the C wall. We have two H's at the house, and we have a mid H on here. One 20 foot H, we can get our two pieces at the wall. 20 foot H will give us our mid on our A wall, and our mid on our C wall. One 20 foot for A wall at the house, 120 foot for C wall at the house, 120 foot we'll get our two mids, so we'll need three 20 foot inches. We still have our mid H and our B wall, we'll take a 16 foot H, we'll get our, our B wall mid H, and that'll leave us a uh, scrap that we can get one of our other pieces here. One 16 foot, our sill will be running under the window units and under the door unit there so we have a 12 foot a wall a 12 foot piece of sill will give us those two pieces a 16 foot piece will give us our two pieces for our b wall another 12 foot will give us our two pieces for the C wall. So for sill we'll need two 12 foot, one 16 foot. We have our H channel that'll go above and below our window units and above our transom glass units on the A and the C wall. So a 12 foot H will give me these two pieces. Another 12 foot H will give me the two for above the window, and a 12 footer will give me the two for above the transom. B wall, we can get these out of the 16. So for our horizontal H channels, we'll need five 12 foot. Our hanger base, we're going to have mounted at the house that the uh, roof panel will slide into. Uh, hanger base comes in 20 foot. That'll be plenty enough to give us our B wall plus our overhang. Same with header base and header top, they come 20 feet. That'll go from corner to corner in a B wall, so one piece will be enough and one. 
on A and C wall on top of our, our wing panel or wing glass. Uh, this piece here, we can use a post sleeve cap or we can use the expander. Either one. Like I said the expander is a little easier to work with because it's just a touch wider. So we have 12 foot on our projections. So for expander, we'll need two 12 foot. Now we use one for the A wall and one for the C wall.